Okay, so we're back, and upon reviewing uh, the recording, I found out two things. One, that Fraps cuts the videos into like 15-minute segments, which is convenient, but I didn't know that, so I stopped with like a two-and-a-half, three-minute segment uh, of its own, so I'll probably uh, just upload the segments as videos, and then I can do a part one, part two, part three. But I also found out that my voice is kind of quiet versus the in-game sounds, so I tried to adjust that. <coughs> I also moved the mic a bit, uh, but mostly I turned down the game sound. I usually have it up 100% because I hear it. So uh, but that's fine. Uh, so this is actually my portal room, and everyone else is raging, but a portal room. It, uh, it leads to right here, this hallway that we were just at. Uh, and these portals go to the nether, of course, but not only just the nether, I actually recently installed a, uh, what you might call, nether, uh, stargate. I call it that because there's, well, why it keeps doing that. Uh, there's this portal in the middle, there's a portal over there, there's a portal up there, there's a portal down there, there's a portal over there in the wall, there's a portal up there, and there's that portal, which actually comes out outside near my house in that bedrock thing that I saw earlier, shown earlier. And so there's seven uh, portals here, and most of them go to unmined areas, so I'm trying to get somebody to do that, get a leg up in the economy. This portal actually comes out, believe it or not, uh, over here in this bedrock case, because I made another portal first and then made my portals in my house second. So it goes to that portal, but you don't actually come out in your house. So it's actually kind of cool. So as you can see, we're back here. Uh, that thing still doesn't work. I'm going to probably do that off screen. But showed you another portal room. And we've already done the dog kennel and the storage room. So now I think I will show you the lower floors. Uh, and then we will actually do the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, lighting. So here we have, ah, crap. Stop again. Uh, I guess, I guess the... Idiots. Grief more than I thought. Um, hopefully it didn't break all the glass. Ah, I have to fix that. Um, here we actually have this room, and this room was actually here, uh, ironically. And this actually connects to the top of that house. You can see from over there and things. Uh, and that's the, that's the nether portal that you come out of. Uh, it's bedrock because I don't want anyone being near here. I can help it, even though the spawn is right near here. Uh, it just discourages creepers. And so there's a nice little waterfall. Um, there's a pool in there, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, Glass. This is like the cereal annoying. Um, Uh, down here is actually the pool, as I deal with politics, hate politics. Um, and the cool part about this is the lights can actually turn off in a nice little chain there. Turn on in the same way. And I like it a lot. It's not very complex, very simple. But anywho, uh, on to the diamond mine.
was like, gosh, I've broken all my glass floors. I'm going to kill some. I've already vowed my internal vengeance on this guy for breaking everything else he already did. So. Yeah, looks like he's broken out all the glass. Why is I'm going to do this? So. I mean, there's like a stair right here. Right here. Looks like he's a moron. Um. Yeah, so. This goes down. It's down to my diamond mine. I don't think there's anything down there. And like I said, those are the lights that work, and that's the lights that don't work. So let's go up and go down there. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and this is my diamond mine. It's been spruced up, but there's the tunnels and things. It's pretty dark over here, actually. Uh, I haven't been through a lot of this, because somebody else actually mined this out, and my house just happened to be over the hole. So that's okay. Uh, but I got a lot of diamonds from it. I got, like, three or four stacks of diamond blocks from all the diamonds. So, that's the diamond mine. Yeah, we'll go back up to the top of the easy way, because I have to check on my glass now. It's actually not that much. And now we're back to here. Yeah, sorry for being quiet. It's just politics and things. Uh, so now we're back here. And we actually want to work on the uh, lighting. So to do this, since all my glass apparently is fixed, I'll just use my creative mode magic. Let's see, torch. And resting lamp. That over there. Piston, I don't think I need pistons. Uh, redstone. Peter. Um, and then block that over there. Yeah, so. I'm sure <laughs> you all might make sense of that. Uh, so. I'll take a look at the wiring over here. The wiring is actually quite simple. Uh, it's simple, simply a delay on the things going down. Uh, it's complicated because of how I wired it on this side because I didn't have a method to get down here. It actually goes to a method that I have. And it's all the way down to the diamond mine. So actually a lot of redstone, but it works out great. So, 
Uh, now to the broken side, which is really just the off side. Uh, I have partially set up. Partially, of course, because it's not set up. Uh, and I think we'll get started. So the idea is that every repeater down is off by a setting, and that's on a 4, so we have a 4 there, and then that's a 0, and then that's a 1. So simply, that's a 0, and that's a 1. Then I need to make sure. Go over here because over here is actually where I have my free space uh, column. Get down and around with, but it's for whatever reason. Should be over somewhere here, and there is a pit. Okay. Uh, so ideally, what we want to do is make a sort of ladder type thing to where it goes down and every one it's a delay later. So if you remember, this is a zero, this is a one, so this is a two, one, two. Yeah. Can't get complicated. Which is why I try to haul it out of ginormous area for it. Two, three. And then now, because this one has to be more than a three, we put a three here, and a zero. And then at this point we will also need to uh, drop redstone power from block and put a three on it. And then wrap it around down. So like I said, very simple and, and uh more tedious than anything, but really I'm just doing it for the fun of it. So now that we have a three on this you know, that's that's the Three, that's the two, and that's the one, and that's the zero. So zero, one, two, three, and then three, and then zero, three, and then one. And now we go down to two, and two. Go down it again to a three. So as you can as you can see it's very simple, very tedious, not even advanced redstone really, but for the sake of the viewers I can do this and talk about things. So uh, yeah I guess I guess we're kind of saving up money to get another computer. Shouldn't go that um, so that I can do this among other things and uh, ideally uh, uh, ideally it'll be like a dual core or whatever uh, this is for the purpose that Pretty awesome. Three. Actually, want a three. And then we can put a zero. Still have the problem of getting around the other side. Remember over here is the free side, and it actually stops right here because we have this room. So we'll actually have to pick it up from the other side if we want it. To continue down from the diamond mine, and it actually does continue down to the diamond mine, so it needs to pick up there. But that's not entirely hard. So three, zero, uh, and a one, and then it 
works. So let's go through up to the button and let's test it out. Uh, yeah, and as you can see, it actually starts at the top and goes all the way down. Enormous amounts of redstone over there. And it gets very complicated. This is actually a supercharged uh, flip flop. I don't know the technical term for piston flip flop, whether it's a JK or a T or screwed up or anything. But button, torch, torches, piston, flip flop. Uh, real simple, real simple. And as you can see, here's the button. Goes off all the way down. So that's oh, it's not good. good. Um, we can actually test it right now. And it goes on both sides. So we're successful, except for the last part, which is fine because we have to pick it up down there anyway. So let's go. Yeah, so here's this. So it actually stops uh, two floors up because that's actually this is actually. You can't have it there. You can't have it here. And so it actually picks up two floors down. Because again, there's a window here, so I can't have it here. I can't have it there. So I'm going to actually steal the signal and wrap it around and plug it in, and then we can just continue uh, with timing all the way down. So it's actually. Uh, here we go. I think I teleported in the wrong spot. It's over. Uh, here it is. Uh, so yeah, here uh, we will actually see here. That's the thing. So we actually want the timing of this one. So we will actually want to. Go over here. 